Good day, my fellow parents, parents, teachers, and friends. I am Tristan Jacob Maganda de Leon from Grade 4 Paul. Welcome back to my channel. Today, in my own little way, I am going to talk about fire safety, handling flammable materials, and what to do in case of fire emergency, at home or in school. Do you know the flammable materials you can find in your house? From gas, like what we use to cook, to cleaning and disinfecting chemicals like dish detergent, rubbing alcohol, and hand sanitizer. Other beauty products like hairsprays, hair mousse, and antiperspirants. Cooking powders in our kitchen are also highly flammable too. Yes, it's true. Flour can be a fire hazard especially flour dust in the air. In fact, many powdered foods, such as non-dairy creamer, spices, and dried milk, will ignite readily. This is because they can burn easily from all sides, so they flare up quickly when exposed to a naked flame. So beware when you're using dried powdery foods like flour. Now that we know the examples of flammable materials found in our homes, now we can talk about handling them safely and how to prevent fire. If flammable materials are not managed properly, they pose serious fire risks. Handle and dispose of flammable materials properly. Store flammable materials in a cool, dry, and well-ventilated area away from heat sources, open flames, and direct sunlight. Never play with fire or matches. Firefighters and safety practitioners always tell us that fire is very dangerous and matches are not toys. If you need to use this, ask for the help of your mom or any adult around you. Avoid overloading the outlets. And remember to unplug and switch off appliances and gadgets when not in use. And now what do you do in case of fire? Just remember these rules. Rule number one, stay low. When there's a fire, don't try to fight it. Find the nearest exit and crawl to safety. The safest air is 12 to 24 inches off the ground. Use your hands to cover your face and to protect your lungs. Rule number two, stop, drop, and roll. When the clothes catch on fire, stop, drop, and roll to put out the flames. This can quickly extinguish the fire on you, your hair, and your clothes, and make it less likely for you to have an injury. Rule number three, never hide during a fire. Make sure you will be easily found by firefighters by waving your arms and calling out to them so they can help you. Rule number four. Get out and stay out. It is important to get out of a burning house or building when there's a fire. And never go back inside. Nothing is more important than you getting out and keeping out. Rule number five. Know how to call for help. It is important that you know how to call for help in case of emergency. Have the numbers of the emergency help, like firefighters, police, or ambulance, in your phone. Rule number six, family meeting place. Set a family meeting place outside the house and away from the fire. This is where all the members of the family agree to go in case of a fire. These are the things to remember. Stay calm, get out, and stay out. Call 911 as soon as you're safe. Keep safe, everyone!